What's up you guys, the makeup's out here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you, well not really showing you, but more so testing out Isha's lace glue for the first time. This is the first time I have tried lace glue, period. I, um, I will be having a video of how I colored this wig up on my channel as soon as I get done editing it. But yeah, so... I am using this spray tan stuff to tint my lace. I don't really like it. And I also use the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1 from Juvia's Place to tint the lace where it was going to be sitting on my hairline. As you can see right here, I'm using the darkest color. And I'm tinting the part where my lace would be cut and blending that out now I didn't like using the tint or I didn't like using the spray tan for tint because it was just it wasn't working it was getting on my hair and yeah anyways uh, you have to shake up the Isha lace glue to get it activated and I use really small dots in between um, doing this. I didn't want to use too many dots, but looking back at this, I think I used a little too much. I also used hairspray with the Isha Lace Glue just to reinforce it. And I'm using the back of my edge brush to smooth out the glue. And my face right there, you guys, I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't used a blow dryer and this is tacky already. I was thinking right there like this, this lace glue, it's about to be the tea. It's about to be, it's about to be the shit. So now I'm just cutting little slits in my lace so it's easier to cut my lace off and also place the lace where I wanted it to be. And now I'm doing my second layer of Isha lace glue. And this one I was doing in more controlled sections so that way I could pull the lace down and make it a little easier. And as you can see right there, I didn't blow dry it. I didn't do anything. I just put it down and it and it stuck. I was pretty shocked. I wasn't having any problems at this point. The blow dryer did make it go by a little faster. But in some places, it wasn't working. I wasn't sure if it was because of the spray tint that I use or if it was some kind of application that I was doing wrong but yeah I had some problems I had some issues As you guys can see, putting the slits in your lace does make it a lot easier to actually apply your wig like this. The first time I tried to apply my wig like this, it did not go well. It did not work out right. It was a mess. I ended up messing up that wig completely. So if you want to apply your wig like this, I definitely suggest putting slits in your lace and then trying to put your lace on and also I apologize for the quality of this video this is a new camera I had never used this camera before I didn't play around with it this was the first video that I filmed and yeah sorry about that you guys anyways so I'm parting around my ear so I can cut the lace out around my ear
and now I am trying to do my baby hairs I didn't show you guys how I cut the lace because I've done that before and there's a bunch of videos on YouTube of how to cut your lace and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that again in the future so yeah I didn't film that part and I spent a lot of time trying to style my hair and at this point I realized that my lace was lifting on my ear tabs. It wasn't lifting anywhere else, but on that side, and I think maybe my ear tab on the other side too. But um, yeah, I had a few, I had a few problems where it wasn't really working. So after I get done reapplying the glue and putting my ear tab back on, then I wipe off the extra glue with the towel. It's a lot better to wipe it off with a towel than to use a cotton round or a piece of cotton, period, or a paper towel. Use, use a regular towel. You won't get a little fluffy pieces in your lace in your hair it'll it'll save your life and here again there was a piece of lace that decided it wanted to separate from my forehead it wanted to do the sea walk to the back of my head now I'm just tinting my lace with the same Juvia's Place blush palette that I did before and now I'm just finishing styling my hair now on to final remarks about this glue i do like the glue i have mixed feelings though i do like that it doesn't take as long for the glue to get tacky but it is definitely a little harder to work with and I'm not sure if it was because I was using a colored wig that I was having a few problems with the glue or if it was something else. But I do like that it is a very strong glue. The problem that I have with this is you have to work fast. So this is not a beginner lace glue this is not something you want to use if you've never put a wig on before this is something for people who have been wearing wigs for a while and they are more experienced with how to actually apply them it does have a cast if you use too much it will turn white or it will look slightly crusty I guess is a good word to use I have as I said before I have mixed feelings I like it but it, I also kind of don't like it <laughs> um, I'm gonna try this glue with other wigs to see how I feel about it but yeah But that's it for this video you guys if you enjoyed it please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below what you liked about the video if you like the hair color that i did i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys